23rd president of the United States is Benjamin Harrison. He's only going to serve one term. He is a Republican, so here's another Republican president. He is the only president whose grandfather was a president. A very, very close election against Grover Cleveland in 1888. He barely won. He barely won. He didn't receive as many popular votes as Grover Cleveland, but he received more electoral votes, so into the White House he goes. During his presidential campaign, he used the front porch campaign. He delivered these very, very short speeches, and he was a great public speaker, and he went all over the country, this front porch campaign, uh, delivering these uh, short speeches. And, and people like this Civil War veteran, this, this uh, guy who said, I'm going to look out for the veterans who fought for this country uh, during the Civil War. He was a little guy. He was only five foot six inches tall. And his 1876, Benjamin Harrison served in the Senate where he was a champion for Indian rights, sticking up for that whole group of people that couldn't stick up for themselves. And so we really got to admire him in that area. He stood up for the Civil War veterans. He said they fought for this country. They deserve a pension. They deserve rights. They deserve benefits. And Harrison, before he was president, really was one of the greatest legal minds in the country. He had a nickname, besides Little Ben. Some of his political enemies called him the human icicle because they said he was standoffish. He was, he was cold. Well, he, he takes the presidency. Presidency, we had our centennial, our, our hundred year anniversary celebration in this country. He was the very first president to put electricity in the White House, but he was too afraid to use it. Also, in 1890, the massacre at Wounded Knee occurs uh, in the Dakotas where Indians are, are murdered, they are massacred. And this really ends the, the chapter of the Native Americans in our history. The Native Americans had a, have a very sad chapter. There were millions of Native Americans living in land that is now the United States before 1492 or before Columbus came uh, into the Western Hemisphere. By 1890, after the massacre at Wounded Knee, there's only about... 250,000 Native Americans left, and they are on reservations, living in, hopeless, living in a hopeless situation, and truly it, it closes the book to, uh, to a really sad chapter in our history on the Native Americans. Benjamin Harrison established 